There is somebody here whose life will change forever after this meeting. If you are that person, let your hallelujah be louder than that of anybody close to you. Amen. Let's close our eyes, beloved, and sing this song loud and clear. Power must change as in my life. No matter what that they may say. Power must change as in my life. Hallelujah. No matter what that they may in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, power must change in my life, hallelujah, no power Sing it again loud and clear. Power must No matter what Power must change Hallelujah. No matter what in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah power must go and see my love hallelujah Listen carefully, beloved. For those of you that the Almighty has organized to come for this program, for those of you that Almighty has arranged for you either to see us on the satellite, see us on the internet, I have a secret information for you. You are not connected by chance. You are connected by divine arrangement. It has been 15 years of the miracle, wonder-working power of God that power must change. And therefore, everything you are going to do at this special service, doesn't matter where you are connecting with us, anywhere you are, the hand of God will go forth unto you. It was at last power must change hands. Somebody on the hospital bed was watching us outside Nigeria. The doctors had given up on the person. But as we started praying on the water, she took the water by her bedside. The same water she's been drinking since. But after that prayer, the power of God which has no respect for geography went right there. Through the internet or through the satellite she was watching. The Bible says he sent his word. The word moves. That word entered into the water. She drank the water. Immediately, she began to vomit. Vomited all over the place. And after that vomiting, she stood up and she was made whole. So it doesn't matter where you are connected. Just do exactly what you are asked to do. And do it with faith in your heart. The Lord who has brought you here is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the one who has no respect for impossibility. With a heart full of joy. Already rejoicing for what the Lord will do in your life in this program. Sing the following songs louder than anyone around you. The name, the name of Jesus, hallelujah, is greater and higher than I. It is not an ordinary name. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power. Ah, 
Alleluia, he is one of the mighty men. He is a member full of power. You are the King of kings, Lord of lords. You are worthy. Hallelujah, worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah, King of kings, Lord of lords. I worship. You are glorious, glorious. You are glorious. Hallelujah, King of kings, Lord of lords. You are glorious. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glorious. You are glorious. Hallelujah. the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his name he has done great things he has done great things Hallelujah, he has come with me. Hallelujah, he has come with me. Bless me. He has done great things. He has done great things. Hallelujah. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I praise your name. You are the awesome God, the mighty God. I will praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name. Jehovah. You are the awesome God. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name. One more time, one more time. You are the awesome God. You are the awesome God. Mighty God. I will praise your name. I will praise your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I will praise your name, Jehovah. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above my eyes. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above my let your glory be upon the earth. Let your glory be upon the earth. Thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Amen. Let there be silence now. As I pray for this group of people that the Holy Spirit is bringing before me, whether you are concerned or not, just let your amen be loud. It may not concern you. It may concern somebody that will concern you. So let your amen be dynamic. Father, we thank you for this particular time. We thank you because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you for the people that you have connected to this program by your power. Father, I am praying right now. All those who are listening to the sound of my voice now that there is a satanic conspiracy against their staff of bread. There is a satanic conspiracy against their marriage. There is a satanic conspiracy against their children. As many people as are represented like that here, by the power that disgraced Goliath, by the power that divided the Red Sea, by the power that says, let there be light, and there was light. Such people receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for those who are here or who are connected to us anywhere. That right now, there is a ladder of darkness inside the body through which evil spiritual current is moving in. A satanic ladder through which infirmity is coming in. A satanic ladder through which affliction is coming in. A satanic ladder through which bad dreams come in. A satanic ladder through which failure at the edge of success comes in. You that ladder, hear the word of the Lord. It is written that the strangers shall be afraid. They shall run out of their close places. It is written that any tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. You ladder of darkness, wherever you are, in anyone's life now, catch fire! 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence. I say, Spirit, argue with a sister over there. Saying that I've been with you for a long time. Do you think I can go now? You, that foul spirit, release that daughter of God in the name of Jesus. Ah, ah. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. The arrows fired by envious witchcraft into your eyes. The arrows fired by envious witchcraft into your womb. Within the count of seven, the angels of God that are already all over this place, they will approach you where you are standing and begin to take out these evil arrows and begin to send them back to where they came from. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's about seven. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Amen. Silence. That's the first person. It's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. The power of God 
is going to strike 57 persons. The wind of the Holy Spirit will blow upon those people. It is possible that they may not be able to stand on their feet when the wind blows upon them. But what's going to happen to those 57 people? They shall be candidates of strange promotions. Yes. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's the power. That's the power. That's the wind of the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Silence. It's happening. That's right. Yes. That which is inside of you that has been preventing your promotion. Something is happening now. It's coming out. Aha. That sister at the back there, you are wearing white. Some time ago, you employed this demonic housemaid who was loading your food with satanic poison. Right there where you are, that poison of darkness inside you, there is a volcanic eruption inside your stomach, and that poison of darkness is coming out. Father, I'm praying for this group of people you just brought before me now. At all the good you do to people, they respond with evil. Right there where you are. The spirit of negative repayment. You do well, they reply with evil. You are kind, they reply with wickedness. The spirit of negative repayment. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 receive it. In the name of Jesus. Now I stand there as a servant of the Most High God. And I decree against that infirmity that wants to bow down your head. You that infirmity hear the word of the Lord. That place is not your habitation. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Lose your power. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With a loud voice. Sing this loud. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. God, we make our way. Where is he? No way. Walks in where we cannot see. Oh, yes, he we make a way for me. He will be my God. With love and strength for each new day, oh yes, we make a way. We make a sing it again loud and clear, Lord. We where does it should be? No way. Walks where we cannot see. Yes, we make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to His side. Strength for each day. Oh yes, we make. I will shout hallelujah shout hallelujah shout hallelujah let's have a seat God bless you glory be to the name of the Lord 
I'm happy to announce to you that in commemoration of the 15th year anniversary of the power must change hands. Amen. This book is out. The book contains all the prayer points from 1995 till today. It's available on sale today. Glory be to the name of Jesus. God is here. His power is in this place. Let's open our Bibles now. This is a prophetic meeting. And we're not here to preach sermons. We're here for a prophetic agenda. Praying to secure divine acceleration. Praying to secure divine acceleration. So the purpose of our meeting here today is for you to pray some prayers that will move you with speed to where God wants you to be. The purpose of today's meeting is actually to pray some prayers that will accelerate your journey. The purpose of this meeting is to pray some prayers that will give you the power to overtake. If you are here and you want that divine acceleration, let me hear you shout a loud amen. Your amen is not loud enough. So, this is a prophetic meeting and also a prayer meeting. Thank God we prayed plenty of prayers here. The prayers for divine acceleration, they are actually 50 in number. But the one with the beat we can pray today, we pray it today. When we arrive at the next power must change us, we take it up again and begin to move. I want to counsel you to pray the prayers when the time comes. Because by that next palm of Saint you will be a bigger bundle of testimonies. Your amen is not loud enough. Pray to secure divine acceleration. In 1 Kings chapter 18, 1 Kings chapter 18, 1 Kings chapter 18, Something is about to happen to somebody here. And that thing is what we are going to read in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 46. If you are there, just tell me, yes. Let me read from 45. And it came to pass, in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. And there was a great rain. And Ahab rode. Ahab was on horses and chariots. And went to Jezreel. Then something happened to Elijah in verse 46. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. And the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah. And the hand of the Lord was upon Daniel Ulukoya. Can I hear you saying that to yourself? And the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah. What happened? And he gathered up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Somebody was on a horse, on chariot. Somebody was on feet. Yet, he outran the fellow on the horse. The spirit that allows one to overtake came upon him. One of the things that will happen to you when the hand of the Lord comes upon you for divine acceleration is that you will overtake. What does it mean to overtake? It's to catch up with and pass. When we say overtake, what are we talking about? It means to move ahead in achievement. It means to beat your competitors. To subdue the enemy. It means to outrun the enemy. It means to excel. It means to leave your competitors behind. It means to get ahead, to surpass, to outdistance, and to outshine. I prophesy upon somebody here, you will overtake those who have gone ahead of you. You will overtake those who are more talented than you. You will overtake those who are more gifted than you. You will overtake those who are more connected than you. You will overtake those who are more intelligent than you. 
whether it is convenient for the enemy or not you will overtake your superiors listen beloved the fact that they are ahead, ahead of you today does not mean that the story has ended all you need upon your life is the hand of the Lord in Psalm 84 verse 7 Psalm 84 verse 7 Psalm 84 verse 7 says this they go from strength to strength every one of them in Zion appeared before God the Bible says you go from strength to strength and from glory to glory so the fact that they are ahead of you now is actually nothing to worry about John the Baptist arrived very late but he shook Israel your God will do the same thing for you maybe you used to pity yourself you stop pitying yourself cancel all the pity parties the power of God will come upon you I will overpower lions inside their dens you will conquer by fire and by force and all this wicked craftiness that people are going into now because more than at any other time in the history of man men and women are going to the occult in order to overtake their contemporaries one of the trouble in Nigeria is that many politicians are juju men, they are occultists, they are native doctors they believe they have to do dark things in order to move ahead thereby causing more confusion I prophesy upon your life you shall paralyze the wicked powers that are working against your destiny if Elijah with his legs could overtake Ahab who was on a horse then you shall overtake your God will restore all those wasted years and whether those who stole your virtues are smarter than you you shall overtake them and the despised shall become the celebrated the servant shall become the master the poor shall become the performer and the zero man shall become the hero the anonymous and the unknown shall become the anointed all you need let the hand of the Lord come upon you I have information for somebody here the last thing I should tell you no matter how long it takes your life will eventually shock your enemies yeah. amen the story of Esther who is a common housemaid change within 14 days that one is even long the story of blind Bartimaeus change within hours there was a man 38 years who was by the pool of Bethesda his story changed within hours I speak as a prophet of the most high God whether Satan likes it or not whether it is convenient for the enemy or not whether your household wickedness like it or they don't like it whether they like your face or they don't like your face your history and story must change in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and those who are despising you now you are coming to dominate them and those who ridiculed you you, you are coming to rule over them and those who are confronting you now by the power of God you shall mesmerize them that's why I said it's a prophetic message that is well, only one thing in fact, the only thing that some people need to move ahead is for the almighty to increase their speed that's all just for the almighty to increase their speed because their blessing is at the front but the speed with which they are moving towards it is too sluggish some are not even moving towards it at all that's why I used to tell them at our youth churches 
that you should pray, Father, bless me when the sun of my life is rising, not when the thing is set. What is the use in you becoming a multi billionaire at the age of 95? When all your teeth are gone, I prophesy upon you. Every shall increase your speed. Shall increase your speed. Shall increase your speed. Every shall increase your speed. They shall increase your speed. They shall increase your speed. They shall increase your speed. In the name of Jesus. So the only thing some people need to move into their breakthrough is divine acceleration. What is divine acceleration? Divine acceleration means that the almighty God gives you speed. Divine acceleration is to receive the speed to run and not be weary, to walk and not to faint. Divine acceleration is for God's hands to come upon you to outrun those who are ahead of you. Divine acceleration is for God's hands coming upon you and make you set the standards. Divine acceleration is for God's power to come upon you and you become a pace setter. Divine acceleration means divine advancement, divine fast forwarding, divine elevation. It's for heaven to dispatch your promotion by divine courier service. Divine acceleration is for heaven to fast track your journey in life. A supernatural lifting up, making you to get ahead of your colleagues, overtaking your colleagues and competitors in the race of life. Divine acceleration is walking while others are crawling, running while others are walking, flying while others are running. There is a difference between a man who wants to go to a 50 story building and he takes the staircase. He will get there, he will have lost energy, lost all kinds of things. He may even be too weak on the way. There's a difference between that man. Or the one who gets into what they call escalator. Again, there's a difference between those two and the man who is on the lift. I pray that the divine speed will settle upon your life. <laughs> divine acceleration will give you rapid progress. It will catapult you from the back to the front. It will paralyze every form of delay. That's why I'm praying for somebody here today. The hand that came upon Elijah and he received divine acceleration. I pray that that hand will come upon you here today. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. That's why I know that everyone must wage war against your problems here today. Many have been complaining. This is a sluggish year. Things have not moved the way they should move. But by the time you leave this program, God will add speed to your progress. In the name of Jesus. God will accelerate your journey. When the power of God enters into you, it's a different thing entirely. You say, how do I secure that divine acceleration? You secure it by prayer. Volcanic prayers. Acidic prayers. Enough is enough prayers. Unsanitized prayers. Bulldozing prayers. Those are the kind of prayers. That's when the hand comes upon you and you begin to move. What do you do to get that to operate in your life? Number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. You need to get born again if you are not born again. So that you can enjoy the maximum benefit. You need to become a friend of God. Number two, you need to battle this your flesh. Mr. Flesh is an enemy in our camp. He allows the enemy to fight us hard. Number three, you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. The power of God must flow into your life. Number four, you need to become a prayer addict. A prayer addict. If you are allergic to prayer, you are unlikely to be able to overtake your enemies. Five, you need to become a Bible addict. Bible addict. Six, you need to engage in purposeful fasting. For those of you who don't like fasting, you are looking for trouble in these troublous times. Better learn the principle of fasting. And seven, 
you need to wrestle in prayers. Very soon, we're going to start praying those 50 divine acceleration prayers. We are not likely to be able to conclude it. But wherever we stop, we'll continue next time. But let me tell you a secret. Each of those prayers has thousands of testimonies attached to them. It will be a tragedy if you keep quiet. It will be a tragedy if you don't pray any well. But you see, I'm here to offer maximum assistance. If you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly. By rising up on your seat and coming to the front here. Let's rise on my feet, everybody. Rise on your feet, rise on your feet. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just leave that seat and come to this altar very quickly. Or any of the two altars at the back. Do that very, very quickly. Because we want to go and pray now. Jesus is waiting for you here. Don't delay. It might be very dangerous to delay. There may not be another opportunity. And they wait to the altar very quickly. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No Those of you at the altar here, I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart on this glorious day. Taking the most important decision in life. Bow down your heads and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not going to pray with you. Father, I thank you for your children here. I thank you for this powerful decision they've made. I pray that this decision will be permanent in their life. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. The counselors here will talk to you. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads. Tell the Lord that anything that will not allow you to overtake your enemies, that the Lord should remove it from your life. Talk to the Lord gently now. Christ the mighty captain leads against the foe. We will never falter when he bids us go. Though his righteous purpose we may never know, yet will follow all the way. Forward, forward, tis the Lord's command. Forward, forward, to the promised land. Forward, forward, let the chorus ring. We are sure to win with Christ our King. Satan's fearful onslaught cannot make us yield. While we trust in Christ, our buckler and our shield, pressing ever on the Spirit's what we will. 
and we follow all the way forward forward tis a lot command forward forward to the promised land forward forward let the chorus ring we are sure to win with christ our king let a glorious banner ever be unfold from its mighty stronghold evil shall be held Christ the mighty captain overcomes the world and we follow all the way forward forward tis the lord command forward forward to the promised land forward forward let the chorus ring we are sure to win with christ our king yes the battle rages but will not be long then triumphant shall we join the blessed throng joyfully uniting in the victor song if we follow all the way forward forward tis a lot command forward forward till the promised land forward forward let the chorus ring we are sure to win with christ our king Let's rise up on our feet, please. And all eyes closed. Each prayer you are going to pray today, you may discover they are the kind of prayers you've never prayed before. And you may not have another opportunity of praying it under this kind of anointing. At this 15th year anniversary, if you pray these prayers and you lose your voice and the enemy is disgraced and you receive divine acceleration, it is worth the bargain. But if you keep quiet, you refuse to talk. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. If blind Bartimaeus had kept quiet, he would have died a blind man. The Bible says, In the day that I cry, then shall my enemies turn back. Can you shout this loud and clear? Dark controversies over my portion. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Dark controversies over my portion. Scatter now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That person over there, check your body. That evil growth, suspicious growth in your body has just disappeared. That's right. Check it. Check it. Yes. That's right. The arrow of darkness fired into your body that is making you to lose blood is coming out right there where you are. Can you shout this louder than anybody here? My pending miracles. Sisters, can I hear your voice? Brothers, let me hear you shout this loud. Manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, command your pending miracles to manifest. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In 
Jesus' name we pray. Uh, I say, man, here, when you get home today, look very carefully. Carefully. Very carefully at the back of your house. Last night, an evil bird was sent to drop an evil ring there. You will discover the ring. Just anoint it and set it on fire. And then all your breakthroughs that are hanging, they shall begin to manifest. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this loud. The war of this year shall not conquer me. Every year has a war attached to it. The war of this year shall not conquer my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Masante kalaboko ya boshanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody has just been healed from the spirit of sleeplessness. Beginning from today, that which is taking away your sleep is scattered. That sister, you came here crying. And you say, let them mention my case. Let them mention my case. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of the enemy around you is broken completely. Aha. And that pain in the breast, the pain in the abdomen has melted away. Now this next prayer, it will be disastrous to allow anybody's voice to overshadow your own. Say any power assigned to use me as sacrifice. In the name of Jesus. That's right. I shall not be used as a sacrifice. My body shall not be the meat in the cauldron. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. That's wonderful. That's right. The arrow of the spirit of death I just backfired. Say, any power riding a strange horse to pursue me. Can I hear the sisters here saying this? Brothers, let your voice roar like fire. Everybody together now. Down! In the name of Jesus. Aha. Things are happening here. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer is <laughs> for so many people here. I say, brother here, after you have prayed this prayer, you begin to pay your tithes in millions and millions. Please pray the prayer. You are going to say, Blood of Jesus! Open my gates of breakthrough! In the name of Jesus! Call on the blood of Jesus! That's right. In 
Jesus name we pray beautiful beautiful now say this any sickness that wants to overtake my life can I hear your voice rolling in thunder I want your voice to be more dangerous backfire in the name of Jesus don't agree with the sickness come out it to backfire in the name of Jesus aha thank you Jesus yes in Jesus name we pray Every satanic pot assigned to control my life catch fire in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, in Jesus' name we pray. You know, this is July, the seventh month, the month of perfection. You will cry unto July now. July! Hear the word of the Lord! Disgrace my mockers. Can I hear you shouting it? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and cry. In the name of Jesus. Disgrace my mockers. In Jesus name we pray. We're making fantastic progress. Strange words assigned to demote me. Damn! In the name of Jesus, deal with those strange words. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Masenta kala boko ya boshanda, riba sentende kaya boshenta. Strange was assigned to demote me. Die in the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Covers in my place of birth. I set you ablaze. Something is about to happen. Covers in my place of birth. A sign against my life. I set you ablaze in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. It. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards his altar. Stretch your right hand towards his altar. Father, these hands that are stretched towards this holy place, let the anointing for divine acceleration fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let these hands become the hands of progress, the hands of breakthrough, the hands of power. The answer 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 fire. The answer power. The answer fire. The answer power. The answer fire. In the name of Jesus. As you lay this hands on your head, then God too will lay his hands upon your hands. 
to bring you divine acceleration in the name of Jesus lay the hands upon your head now and keep it there the hand of the Lord is coming upon you and you must receive and you shall receive divine acceleration 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 the power of God shall increase your speed in the name of Jesus keep the hand on your head something is happening there that's right every manipulation of any brain I cancel the manipulation now in the name of Jesus every hypnotic power that has caged anyone I break the stronghold now in the name of Jesus beginning from now difficult things the enemy is bringing your way you will find them easy in the name of Jesus thank you 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 Jesus seven Jericho destroying hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Before we pray the final prayers, have your seat for a few minutes. If you are in this meeting now, and this month is your birthday, or this month is your wedding anniversary, this month was the month you started your business, rise up on your feet now. We want to rejoice with you and pray with you. Father, we thank you for your children here who are celebrating one thing or the other this month. I decree that by this time next year, you'll be a bigger bundle of testimonies. I decree that by this time next year, if Jesus starts in his coming, your testimonies shall be awesome. It is well with you. The Lord will bless you from Zion. Bless your life from Zion. Bless your marriage from Zion. Bless your business from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you in jesus mighty name we pray in louder amen bring out your prayer letter now and remain standing jesus is here he's able to do all things hold it to your right hand and let your amen be dynamic father in the name of jesus we spread our prayer letters unto you answer them by fire in the name of Jesus all the prayer requests written here by the coming power must change hands the Lord will make them mighty testimonies for you the Lord will bless you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you it is written that you to the hills will raise up your head from there comes your help your help comes from the Lord who made heaven stand not suffer your feet to be moved for it that keep it will not slumber. That keep it Israel shall end our slumber and stay. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. It is well with you. This month, the Lord will perfect everything concerning your life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.